And the word abd, of course, does not necessarily mean in the worship sense. But unfortunately, the nawasib, this is how they try to portray it. If someone would say, I am, inshallah, an abd of Imam Ali or Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, of the Prophet Muhammad, they would automatically accuse him of being a mushrik and saying this is shirk, this is polytheism. And when some people have these names of Abdul Zahra, Abdul Hussein, now, of course, again, there will be a debate. Did these names come later on that people made? And is it permissible to have such names? Because normally Abd is put next to one of the names that we know for Allah Azza wa Jal, such as Abdul Rahman. This is one uh, common name. But anyway, putting that aside, if someone would call themselves Abd of one of the Ma'asul, meaning in the non worship sense, then this is possible according to how Abd is shown in the Quran for the non-worship sense in terms of being obedient to someone. If this would be someone says I'm an Abd of Hussein, meaning obedient to him as he is a divine hujjah and one of the Imams alayhim salam, then there's no problem about that. And we have to finish off this episode, a narration on this matter. And we'll read this narration of course because it's better to keep this topic all in one episode and then we can finish in the next episode about saying anything about our merits with the final conclusion. But we'll read this hadith now in this episode to relate it to the other context of what we have said. So I'll read the following narration, which is in Bihar al Amwar of Allama to Majlisi, and Allama to Majlisi mentions where he got this from, of course, from Sheikh Mufid's Al Amali and Sheikh Tusi's Al Amali. The following narration says about Zayd bin Tabari that he was standing by the head of Imam Rida alayhi salam at Khurasan and in his presence was a group from the clan of Hashim. So this narration will clarify when someone would say they are an abd of one of the ma'asumin, whether it means in the divine lordship context or whether it means in obedience. So this actually has a basis according to some of the narrations and not like how the Nawasib like to deceitfully portray that when a Shia says this, it means they are worshipping the Ahlul Bayt alayhim as -salam. So, I was standing by the head of Imam Rida alayhi salam, or next to Imam Rida alayhi salam, and in his presence was a group from the clan of Hashim. From them being Ishaq bin al-Abbas bin Musa. He said to him, O oh Ishaq, so this is the crucial part to read. Balaghani annakum taquluna inna nasa abidun lana. So he says, O oh, Ishaq, Imam Rida alayhi salam said this, it has reached me that you are all saying that people are slaves to ours, so they are abid to us. Know by my relationship, my relationship, Imam Rida alayhi salam, meaning himself, know by my relationship with Rasulullah, I did not say it at all, nor have I heard it from any one of my forefathers, nor has it reached me from any one of them having said it. So Imam Rida alayhi salam realized that apparently this person was saying that people are abid to them and most likely here meaning in the worship sense that this type of rumor and incorrect belief was being spread about Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam that they are slaves, um, abid in the worship sense that people are worshippers of them. And Imam Rida alayhi salam in the following narration he negates this and he says the following. لَكِنَّنَا نَقُولُ النَّاسِ عَبِيدٌ لَنَا فِي الطَّاعَةِ مَوَالٍ لَنَا فِي الدِّينِ Imam Rida alayhi salam, he makes it clear here and he refutes a false idea that people are abid to them in worship like the ghulat were trying to spread. He says, but we are saying the people are servants of ours in the obedience, the ta'ah of loyalty to us in the religion. So Imam Rida alayhi salam is making it clear here that people are abid in the sense to them of obedience and having loyalty to them in the religion. But we are saying the people are servants of ours in the obedience of loyalty to us in the religion. So in this narration, 
Imam Rada alayhi salam, he hears that this person is, for example, spreading rumors or wrong information that they are saying that people are abid to them and the person misunderstood this because perhaps they heard abid and they got mixed up with the ideas of the ghulat that they are telling people to worship them but Imam Rada alayhi salam in the following narration he negates this saying that when people are called abid or they say that people are abid to them it is in the sense of loyalty to them loyalty to the religion and following their orders not in the sense of worship and this meaning of abd as we have shown can be used as according to the Quran in the non-worship sense. So when any of the nawasib or the come and say, oh, he called himself Abdul Hussein, this shows their jahl, their ignorance and their stupidity because this narration that we have, the Quholi Quran, which all Muslims accept, backs up that abd is not always in the meaning of divine lordship. And Imam Rada alayhi salam, again, he says that people are servants of theirs in obedience, loyalty to them, and that in the religion. So, debating whether the names came later or whether this is something based in the time of the Imams, for example, for someone to call themselves Abdul Hussein, this is another discussion. But if someone would say, I am an Abd of Muhammad, of Ali, of Hussein, of Hassan, of Baqir, of Sadiq, of Hadi, of Askari, any of the Imams alayhim Islam, if one would say they are an Abd of them, they would mean in the sense that I have, inshallah, loyalty to them, I have obedience to them, I have loyalty in this religion, and not in the sense that they worship them, like the Ghulat were trying to spread.